going in for the interview, let's say you go through all that screening stuff, you go to the job fair and these districts start calling you, and uh, especially, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a speech pathologist, a special ed teacher, a math teacher, uh, those, a reading endorsed teacher, those people are going to call you. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get some interviews this year. So, okay, here I go. I'm going in for my first interview. And when there's some things you need to do before that interview starts. Okay, and that's what this, uh, this first part here is build a knowledge base, all right, before you go into that interview. And then this is just research stuff, and now you can do that more with Internet accessibility than you could ever do before, folks. Uh, it used to be, uh, I remember when I, when I graduated with my bachelor's, if I wanted to find out something about a community, and the first bullet is learn all you can about the school system, I would go to that district. I have to call someone that can send me some stuff. You can do that all online right now in an Internet-based uh, system. Um, but learn all you can about the school system. Just don't go in there cold turkey because those people are going to engage with you during that interview, whoever is interviewing you, and we'll talk about that here in a second, about their school. And so if you want to ask some intelligent questions, as wish you should, and engage in that discussion, know the product you're talking about in the organization. So that's good. And they will pick up on that, trust me. You'll know if you've done your research. So learn what you can about the school. Just don't go in there cold turkey. Um, again, the designated contact person. This, this has been a rule for the ages, folks. When you become part of the educational system and in their teaching, there's two people you need to treat like gold in your school system, your custodians and your secretaries. Truly, those people are an important and integral, integral part in making those school systems run. And the reason why I bring that point up is because of that bullet number two. When you make that initial contact or you get a phone call from somebody to set up an interview for you or a position, it's going to be the secretary. It might be the principal secretary. It might be the assistant superintendent of human resources secretary. But it's going to be a secretary. And I can't tell you how many times my secretary hangs up the phone and will tell me, because she gives me the schedule for my week at the beginning of the week. And she has no problem. This one was really exciting. I think you're really going to enjoy this interview. We really had a good discussion order. This one was very rude. That's the reality how the systems work. So you know that initial point of contact is that secretary that's going to set up that interview for you. So get to know that secretary. And that's just part of who you are, too. I mean, and th those are types of people that school systems want. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you don't have the ability to form a relationship with other people, we're an organization about people in our system. We're not about things, we're about people. So start developing that through your phone etiquette, through your interactions with other people. Uh, people are going to gravitate towards that if you're open. And more importantly, we know this too. Students are going to gravitate towards that, and, and that's that's key. Yes. A friend of mine is in sales, and mm -hmm. uh, he calls the secretary of gatekeepers. They yep. they determine whether or not you get to talk to anyone, whether or not you're going to yeah. get to market your product mm -hmm. to your potential yes. customer. That's that's the truth. I mean, it's all about communications and relationships. <laughs> right now, she's calling set up an interview. That's fine, and you you've been there. But again. If you have questions about the application process, that's the person you're going to call, okay? That's the person you make contact with. So don't think, well, I just want to talk to the assistant superintendent. Or I want to talk to the superintendent. I want to talk to the principal because I want an interview. If you take that approach, you're probably not going to get too far, <coughs> all right? You're definitely not going to get to talk to those folks, okay? So understand that. And then also while you're on the phone with that secretary, because again, this is your first interview, don't be afraid to ask this after you're developing that rapport and discussing and you know, getting the information where the interview is, what time it is. Don't be afraid to ask, well, how's the interview set up? This, this, this is my first interview, I'm kind of curious. How's the interview set up? What's that do for you? That lets you know, is this a one-on-one -on -one interview? Is it going to be the principal that's going to be interviewing? Is it going to be a panel interview? You kind of get that idea, and those folks will share that with you. That's not a problem, but ask the question. How's this interview going to be set up? Um, and they'll tell you. How long is the interview going to be? You know, do you have an idea? And they'll give you that information too. Believe we do hundreds of these a year, so they know. Um, but ask those questions. And you can start, again, it's that advanced organizer skill you've learned as an educator. Everybody likes to know what they're in for by putting it up on the board, right? Same thing in this process. You kind of, to, to prepare for it, to put the anxiety at ease, because we're all going to have that, and you should have a little bit of that. But get some confidence, gain the knowledge, and know what it's going to be like. So start asking those questions with that person. And it's going to be that secretary. What's the interview? Is it structured, paneled, one-on-one? -on -one? Who's going to be interviewing me? About how long is it? And uh, kind of develop that. So, you, again, you're starting to get an idea, form an idea. Again, think of this. Think of that back to that initial statement I made. 
23 applications, 12 or 23 positions, 1,200 applicants. You know, that, that's, and then you're getting, if you get an interview, you've beat the odds greatly right there. So make the most of that. Um, and find out the most you can about the interview. Don't be afraid to ask that. And, and most people don't ask that. I find that interesting. And I always tell people that. Ask that. That's important. And you can ask that. That's, that's good stuff. Um, they talk through here, read through local newspapers. You know, if your interview is probably going to be set up a couple week or at least a week in advance or a couple weeks in advance, you know, start reading about the community. Go online and read the online newspapers. Go and find about the school report cards off the State Board of Education website. Go and find out all that stuff that you can. Um, if you can visit the school or the community before that, do that. Drive through, spend a weekend. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be amazed with sometimes, and, and it differs, uh, but it's still the same. I'll tell you this. Uh, I was a high school principal for seven years in southern Illinois, in DeCoin, Illinois, small, small southern Illinois school, um, you know, 8,000 8, people in the community. I was born and raised in Lockport, Illinois, suburb, suburban school, Collar County, Will County. So, and, and now I'm in Mattoon because I kind of went the gamut of the state. All communities, really, you just have to stand in a supermarket a little bit and somebody somewhere is going to talk about their school, their educational system. <coughs> and listen for those things. They'll tell you if it's good or bad, or and you know you just take that with a grain of salt. But at least you'll get a vibe of what the you know what the heartbeat is in the in the community about the district. Um, know your interviewers. I talk about that again. That all comes with that initial conversation. Who's going to be interviewing me? Uh, if you get, if they tell you, well, uh, Dr. Scosi, assistant superintendent for HR, or you know, Mr. Bernard, elementary principal at Real School, is going to be interviewing you. Go find out what you can about them. You know, a little trick in interviewing. We always want people, you know, if we're doing a good job interviewing, we want you to talk to us about you. And, and that's true because we want to learn the most we can about you. But really what people, what sticks with people, and this is just, this is what a minor in psychology will do for you, but, uh, dementia a little bit. But really what, when people remember the most when they interact with others is what they ask them about them. And, oh, they asked me a question about that. I remember that because no one really asked me, asked me a question about that before. So that, that's important too. Find out so you can, again, carry on a conversation and, 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 again, develop that relationship with that person. Because if you don't even get this job and it was real competitive, but you were a good candidate, trust me, this is how these circles work in human resources and education. I'm going to get a call from Charleston, or I'm going to get a call from Maine South, maybe, maybe Dr. Dietz up there, and, and they're going to say, hey, do you, I'm looking for an, uh, English as a second language teacher. Do you have anybody out there? Or I'm looking for a real good special ed teacher. Uh, and I'm going to say, well, you know, we had this position, I interviewed this candidate, let me forward you this information because this is a good candidate and I want to work with That happens all the time. I can't tell you how much that happens. Um, that happens here, this happens up in the suburbs, it happens down in southern Illinois. So again, developing that relationship and just having that skills and, and, and making that impression on somebody because you asked a question about them. Or I saw that your district just won an award or uh, you were just presented with this or you know, your district scores were this way. You know, what do you think, what, how do, what do you think accounts for that? Or, you know, Again, you, when that interview starts, if an interview, <coughs> interviewee and an interviewer are doing a good job, they're going to have a discussion before the formal questions even come in. One, to make you feel at ease, the interviewee, but then also for the interviewer to get to know you a little bit more. And again, see if you can conduct a conversation with them, a meaningful conversation. Uh, that's going to happen. So again, be prepared for that. Uh, the next one here, review the fundamental principles and concepts in, in your field of study. Um, you know, those are the general things that you all know, that you've been accustomed to, that's been drilled into you, effective lesson planning, what's the content area, your social science teacher, kind of put in line, you know, what, if someone may ask you, what do you think uh, is an appropriate uh, sophomore level history class, what's that look like? And if you had some experience in that, say that, you know, or, so put those things together, and that's just, and, and folks, don't, don't feel uh, intimidated by that, that's what you do, that's what you've learned, be confident in that, okay, you know those things. Here's something with you, too, I would tell you. Out. Uh, and again, I've only been in education 12 years, but um, I would say in the last four years, people coming out of ed in education, and this definitely has, it doesn't devalue those folks that came before, but the student teachers that come out, you are one of the most intelligent, savvy groups that we've had in a long time. You are very advanced. Uh, and you look at that from the testing you have to do now to get certification, you just heard that. You, can't, you know, that discussion didn't happen 10 years ago, did it? 